Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and we are currently test driving the Endurance Series Flat 6 Mod version 4.0 by Endu Racers, or Endo Racers, however you pronounce their name. This is the latest release from the developer responsible for also the Endurance Series mod. This upgrades this new not Porsche GT3 car to the latest contact patch model, also full support for DirectX 11 and R Factor 2, and more features. So without further ado, let's get behind the wheel. Also, another thing I wanted to test out is now R Factor 2 has some better support for rain. So if you look on the windshield, you're actually seeing streaks, you're actually seeing windshield wipers working. This is a long time in the making for R Factor 2, and we actually saw these previews way back in the day for R Factor 2 with rain and never got it, and now we finally do. Uh, just be forewarned, this is in beta. This is a beta release of R Factor 2. It is an open beta, so you can test out for yourself, but this is not the final. We did see some other previews at the Sim Racing Expo, which also showed elements such as water puddling on the track. To my recollection and knowledge, this is not present on this build in R Factor 2. So for now, we are just seeing the windshield effects, and it's not perfect. I've noticed when I'm stopped for this car particularly, I'm seeing raindrops go through the roof and inside the car. So your driver's getting exceedingly wet. Not in a fun way, but I digress. But essentially, this is not the final release of rain support, but I still gotta say it's working well. Also, word of warning. For this car, it did not hit the track with rain tires auto equipped. So I was trying to do a couple laps, kept on spinning out. I was like, what the heck is going wrong? I then go in the garage, notice I still have slicks on. So this did not auto equip slicks. So if you're testing this car out in the rain, make sure you equip slips or make sure you equip slicks. That's a tongue twister. But if not, you're gonna have a hard time. So you can see right here, rain is phasing through the car. I repeat, rain is getting in the car. But man, driving like this, it is so flipping intense. You just see the drops flying at you. Might not be the most realistic in some lights though, because I'd say when you're driving away from the drops, you wouldn't be seeing them flying at you really. Maybe since I'm driving a car at speed, it could be different, but yeah, still, this is intense guys. This is amazing in VR. Even with all the faults and stuff, this is really, immersive experience and bothurst oh what a challenge you have to be very careful with the throttle you don't want to get that rear end on this car to step out this is a rear engine car and it feels like it it's a real challenge guys but oh my god this is so much fun Woo! oh that bump is just so pronounced there unsettles the car But all in all, we're keeping under control. I'm not pushing too hard because it is raining. But oh, up the hill, really, you do feel the track getting very slick. I know R Factor 2 did have some issues with how cars behaved in rain earlier on. This feels authentic, I think. This uh, Studio 397, they've really dialed in the car's behavior especially with that new contact patch model. I think the way the tires are interacting with the wet track now is better than ever. You do have to still manhandle it though, as you can see there. Oh, this downhill, it's so flip, or it's so flipping freaky in VR. It's like, oh, your mind. Oh, man. One of the things with VR is that it really does trick your mind and it makes you feel a bit like you are driving down that hill, even though the body isn't. Oh, whoops. Tis but a scratch. But you almost feel a little like your stomach 
goes a little turny. But, oh man, it's so much fun. And just looking around, basking in the sights. But, oh, sheesh. But let's get back to this car. You really have to be careful with it. You can see it's like squirrely under braking. Make sure to blip for those downshifts. You don't want to really unsettle the rear end, and I don't think there's an auto blip on this car. But, oh. I know R Factor 2 isn't the best looking visually. I am fully aware of that. But, oh my gosh, this immersion factor is insane. And the rain. You really want to be careful. Because you could just see the car starting to slide going into that first corner. But, yeah, this, this car is a blast. If you have R Factor 2, make sure you pick this up. It is... Wow. And, I mean, it's not perfect. If you look over to the right, your head clips through the arm... Uh, or the headrest. Like the protective thing. But in a real race car, you're not going to be moving your head that much. So, keep that in mind. But, man. This is definitely intense immersion! Ow. I panicked a bit there. I do have invulnerability on because I guess I'm a wimp. But also because I'm just not that great at authors. But, man. Whoa! You feel the car step out. And in this rain, it is so much fun. So, yeah. If you have R-Factor 2, pick up this car. So much fun. If you have VR, try it out. Rain still needs work. But... Yeah, it's it's definitely better than where it was a year ago. Feels a lot better, looks a lot better, and let's hope that Studio 397 refines it even further and maybe models the rubber, uh, not rubber, but the puddles and everything. So I think this could really be a great improvement. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. But yeah, bottom line... Give this a try, guys. It's a lot of fun. So, thanks, guys, for watching me drive a bit like an idiot at Bothurst. And, yeah, this is this is a blast, guys. And if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and help keep us on track. If you want to see me test drive some other cars, uh, feel free to leave a note in the comments of what car you'd like to see me drive. Hold on a second. It is so cool to be able to look back like that, even though you can't do that in a real car. But it's so cool to be able to look backwards. I'm just saying. But yeah, so leave a comment about what car you'd like to see me test drive. And for the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh. And you have a great rest of your day. And hopefully you'll drive a lot better here than I did.